What does it say? I can't see through this thing. Ah, no hairs have fallen off yet, so that is a good sign. I smell clean and fresh. Welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name's Anushka. So today we're going to be trying out some overly sponsored products. I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time. Honestly, I've had these products for a while. I've been trying some of them out. I've tried some out today. I literally cannot wait to jump into this video. But before we do that, I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Zara Ahmad. So thank you so much for your really sweet comment. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so, or you can just leave a nice comment. So I'm going to start off with the one that I was most excited about, and that is uh, the Functional Beauty Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, talk about sponsored product. This is a highly sponsored product i've seen it on so many people's videos okay so i got the shampoo and conditioner both are 473 mil it says it's customized in the usa and um, i paid 39 pounds for both the shampoo um, and the conditioner together and I got free shipping so when I was buying this I was going through the website and you go through this like little questionnaire of what you want from the shampoo what kind of hair you have for me I have really dry ends and a very 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 oily scalp with the package my profile came on a piece of paper um, my profile is straight hair with I guess medium coarseness and it's oily and um, my goal is to deep condition lengthen oil control reduce brassiness because obviously i have a little bit of my lightened hair towards the end and volumize i chose the nude peach fragrance and i chose the strong option so basically a stronger scent because i just love it when my hair smells really nice so that's what i kind of chose honestly one big thing for me that's been an issue lately is that i literally will wash my hair and the next day it's super oily in the roots that was one thing that was important to me and also because i chose reduced brassiness um this shampoo is like a purpley color to kind of cancel out the brass brassy 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 tones one thing that kind of annoyed me is i put a picture here when the package came the little pumps that come with these were all like broken um, so I couldn't use them so I basically have to tip them out every time which is a bit frustrating but it's also a bit frustrating because it is £40 they are £20 each then they're a high-end product so you know having the like literally shattered uh, pumps is not that great especially for the price you're paying so that's just one thing i wanted to note guys you guys have no been noticing that my hair has been extra shiny extra healthy and honestly it's since i've been using this obviously i take care i take good care of my hair i put as less heat as possible on my hair but since i've been using this three times now i'm up to here and because it's an high, it's basically a high-end shampoo and conditioner so i tried to use it sparingly and i thought oh i'm not going to use it every time but every ever since i've used this i just don't want to use anything else like, it's so nice and it makes my hair smell really really nice like it's so strong i love it i love it so much so this definitely gets a 10 out of 10 for me i've been loving this i look forward to washing my hair because of these um i love that you can put your name on it they are also vegan and cruelty free which is a huge plus they also took around like a week to arrive so yeah this one definitely gets a pass i love these and i definitely recommend you guys trying them i think there's an option where you can try a sample out um but you know it's a high-end product so if you are willing to put some coin down for a good shampoo and conditioner then this will be something that you will love definitely try it out but if you prefer more affordable products then then this maybe might not be for you. Let's move on to the next product that I was also really excited about and that is the Raw Brow Brow Lamination Kit. Now this wasn't really sponsored by YouTubers necessarily. I, I didn't see anyone like promote it or, or anything but this kept popping up on my Instagram sponsored post. So every time I was going through people's stories, this would show up every time. So I was like, do you know what? I'm going to try this. I'm gonna give it a go I'm, I'm giving into it and I've been wanting to do brow lamination for a while because I just love that you know very spiky fluffy brow look I actually tried it today so let's roll on to the clip where I'm gonna show you guys how I went through the process okay, so it all comes in a box you have everything labeled in here with 
uh, the step number on each item. We've also got some brushes. Okay, so it does say to do a patch test first before use. And if there's any irritation, do not use. Avoid any direct eye contact. And it says it's got, it gets you full feathery brows in 15 minutes. I'm so excited about this, guys. The first step is to clean any residue from your eyebrows. I mean, my eyebrows are very clean. Like, I've just washed my face, so there's nothing on there the next step is to use a small amount of the brow gel which is this right here brush the brows up using the mascara brush you can also use a y shaped brush a y shaped brush can be used additionally to ensure the brows are fully brushed up and flat wait one minute for the brow gel to be fully dried i don't know what this y shaped brush is i don't know what that is i don't have a y shaped brush i'm just going to use the brow gel it does say small amount so i'm not going to put too much I'm just going to use my finger whilst I'm combing it upwards. I'm getting some of it on my finger, but oh well. Um, just so that you can really like flatten the hairs against the skin. Okay, so that's one side. I mean, one bit's really bugging me. This literally just feels like glue. So I guess I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like that, okay. But look at the difference already. I really try not to touch my brows because I was so excited to try this. I've had this for a while now. Um, do the other side. I hate this eyebrow, honestly. Oh my god, it frustrates me so much. Okay, that's what it's looking like. Okay, so it says, apply the perm cream over the brows with your micro brush until your brows are coated. Wipe off excess solution around the skin. Cover with cling film for five to eight minutes, then wipe solution off with dry cotton pads. This stuff definitely smells like perm solution. I'm just putting it all over. I'm just gonna put the cling film straight on. What does it say? I can't see through this thing. Cover with cling film. I think this is to keep the heat in. It was stinks. Okay, let's put let's put six minutes on the timer. I don't wanna go too overboard. Okay, so I'll be back in six minutes. Okay, I've kept it on for exactly seven minutes, so let's take this off. And then it says to use a cotton pad to just dry up and take the product off. Ah, no hairs have fallen off yet, so that is a good sign. Okay, so now, now what do I do? I've got the fixed cream right here, and it says to do the same thing as I did with the perm. Why is this little hair curling up? I need to trim that hair. So it's a little bit, it's a little cray gray. Okay, it says to wipe off any excess. I haven't really got much excess to be honest. And then it says to brush the brows in the direction of your desired brow shape. For me, it's really like that arc bit because usually when I've seen other people do this, it looks a little bit crazy at first. But then like when you've like a few days later and you've kind of brushed it, which I'll probably I'll probably insert a clip like maybe one or two days later to just show you how like it looks after after it's settled down, but it looks way better. Anyways, now it says once you've done brushing, cover with cling film. It's a good thing I had two sets. I didn't even know I didn't even do that on purpose. And we're gonna cover it for five to eight minutes. I'm gonna do seven minutes like I did. Let's remove this. It's been seven minutes and it says to wipe off. Now I'm gonna use the number three, which is the brow treatment. This is to help nourish and strengthen the brows. Leave for two to three minutes. But it's looking pretty good so far. I'm just gonna put this on my with my finger. It almost feels like and looks like an oil. This is so interesting. Uh, oh my god. Okay, let's do four minutes of that. Okay, so now it just says to use number four, which is the cleanser. To clean off everything. I'm just putting some of the solution on my cotton pad. To just clean off everything, I guess. I'm saying to brush everything back out. I mean, you can still brush your eyebrows normally if you wanted to, but like they, if you brush them up, they just stay like that basically. So yeah, that's what they're looking like. I'm really not mad. I'm really not mad, honestly. Mm. 
Mm. And it was really easy. So this is what my brows are looking like with my makeup on. And honestly, I, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. And you don't have to keep them out, up like this. You can also, you can just brush them down if you want to. But yeah, there's no damage. There's no, there was no brow fallout. I was scared of that. Um, it was so easy to follow. I love the step-by-step -step process. The only thing that I forgot, I was looking for this silly like, y-shaped brush and it was in this case and i completely missed it i'm so stupid but you get loads of them they're like these little mini brushes with very tiny bristles this would have been perfect because you know when i was struggling to brush this out this is what i needed and now i know i have it so knowing that i've got that i mean i'm pretty happy with the way it looks i'm so so happy i'll put a clip here of how it looks like a day or two later just to show you guys how it's settled in but right now based on my first impression this is like 10 out of 10 if you're looking for a good brow lamination kit i definitely recommend it but i would definitely emphasize on the fact that you need to do a patch test first because with these kind of products like some people can have major major allergic reactions so keep that in mind if you're going to do this don't just go ahead i know it's all exciting and stuff and you just want to put it on but with these kind of um products and like especially like the perm products you need to do a patch test like just do it just do it but yeah 10 out of 10 i love it I'm, I'm i'm obsessed and i'm definitely going to be reusing this it says it lasts um for six to eight weeks which is so good so i paid in dollars and this came to 36 pounds so it's not cheap but given the results it's so worth it um obviously i'll update the info box and let you guys know how long this lasts for i bought this on the 18th of april and i kind of i think i received it like uh like a week and a half later it did take a while to come to be honest okay so the next product i honestly have been dying to try for the longest time um is sugar bear hair hair vitamins it's got zinc and biotin but they also have like vitamin a d e c b6 folic acid you can take two gummies a day i've only been using this for like a week now the only thing i was so disappointed about like i feel like when i saw kylie jenna and like, all the kardashians promote this they made out as if like this was like the yummiest thing in the world like i'm thinking like blue raspberry like tango blue from the cinema or something like that this this is so sour guys Uh, I really don't like the taste of it honestly it tastes like cheap sweets but it's cruelty free it's good for all hair types it's made in the USA it's berry flavor you get 60 gummies in here and I actually got this on a deal from just my look I got it for 16 pounds um, free shipping I think it's normally around 30 pounds to be honest I feel like it's kind of overpriced I mean it's too early for me to even say like i can actually see a difference but i know like one vitamins that i love is uh by lachelet beauty you can get these from super drug they're 24 pounds for 60 gummies um they have various ones and i've tried a few of theirs and i love the i love the taste of them i feel like you know they were good maybe it is working because i i finished like two pots of those and my hair has been really good lately so i don't know i really like the lachelet it's too early for me to say anything about this i don't really like the taste but with the lachelet ones i would like literally look forward to them they they are really nice but with these ugh, ugh, i don't like it personally i will update you guys in the info box if i do see a difference i'm going to take these only for now and see how it goes amazed i i, I i'm more drawn to this one because of the taste but in results wise i don't know i still have to use it so i'll keep you guys updated but first impressions is like it just tastes nasty to me and very sour okay the next thing that has been oh my god sponsored so much lately is the native deodorants guys 
I get so excited about deodorants, okay? One deodorant that um, I've been using is called Nude, N-U-U-D. Basically like a, t a paste and you just like rub it in. It's got coconut oil, it's very natural. You only need the smallest amount. It kind of goes white at first, but it goes away. But I've been really liking it and I haven't used any other deodorant for like I think almost a year now because it's so it's because it's so natural i feel like my armpits aren't irritated i used to get really painful lumps under as well because i just feel like these strong deodorants will just block my armpit ducts or something like you know you, you need to let the stuff out guys but anyways i used to get really painful lumps and now i haven't had them in like so long since i changed up my deodorants i really love the nude one like that's one of my top deodorants but i've been trying out these and they're really good guys the only thing i would say though is that it if you don't put too much because if you put too much it leaves a, like a little bit of white stuff um but i put it on today and it's okay my favorite one is the coconut and vanilla one i also got tangerine and citrus blossom with sandalwood and fig these two smell really strong but the coconut and vanilla is very nice. It's like, just smells like, you know, I'll just have my armpit smell like chocolate any day, right? But it's very subtle. It's not strong. Whilst these ones are very, very strong. Like, I can literally smell it on me. So you only need a little bit of it. Of it. These are aluminum-free and paraben-free. You get a lot of product. There's 75 grams in here. These took a week to come. And I paid $36 for the trio. I don't know why I paid $36, but okay. And that came to 27 pounds for free deodorants obviously they are high-end even the nude one i get is quite pricey i buy two tubes for like 22 pounds yeah these are definitely high-end uh, deodorants but i love them i don't like the cheap ones anymore because like it just irritates my armpits so much i prefer the more natural ones these smell so good and i love the packaging too this is what they look like i love them so much is it something that i would repurchase definitely it works my armpits don't smell okay i smell clean and fresh so these definitely get a pass i've been really happy with them it's kind of it makes me happy that you know all these influencers are actually promoting stuff that really works um i'm not sure about these though but i'll keep you guys updated but yeah i'm pretty happy so far i just mentioned that all of these are working so great but one product that was highly requested by you guys was the ill maquillage foundation i don't have it with me today because i actually tried it a year ago because i was supposed to uh, work with them on a paid collaboration now i went through the whole like shade matching system online which i feel like is what they're really known for is the shade matching system that they have for their foundation so i went through that whole questionnaire got my foundation tried it on it was the complete wrong shade guys i'm telling you right now it was so dark and then it i think i had a reaction to it and like it just didn't look good at all on me so i had to pull out from the collaboration there are some other products that they sent me that i really like um for example their mineral blush um but the foundation was a big no for me i had to like let them know obviously they were happy to receive my feedback but that's why i've never really talked about that foundation is because i didn't have a um positive experience with the product itself but also the shade matching system that everyone raves about didn't work for me so it just didn't make sense for me to work on a paid collaboration for, with them so that one just did not get a pass from me and then finally we have the by terry brightening cc palette so many of you requested these because recently there was a campaign going on i don't know i just saw a bunch of uh, youtubers promote this um these are very expensive powders guys but this was a bargain when you think about having all four let's move on to the application of these and then we can talk more about the product okay so those are all the colors um i love the two blush colors i feel like i can use this as a brightening powder but yeah they're, they're pretty colors i just need, i'm gonna try this under my eyes quickly she's more like a highlight so this shade i can use as a highlight has a bit of a, a very slight glow so i'm going to keep that till last i'm going to try the peachy blush first on one side okay so that's the peachy side i'm going to go with the fuchsia blush now I 
I mean, it is nice. I do like that. I just feel like I haven't got much use with this and this. But let's try the lighter shade in the palette. I mean, that works too. It's giving it a really pretty skin, guys. Look at that. The only one I haven't really used is the bronzer. It does swatch pretty good. They go a bit powdery, but when you put it on the skin, it doesn't look powdery. They blend pretty well. So, I don't know. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so this palette retails for £42. There was actually a discount on Feel Unique, so I got a, I got £9 off the palette, so I got it for £33.18. And, and to be honest, like, I'm happy I got the discount because I feel like it's a lot of money for £42, right? Even though, like, By Terry is a luxury product, I love the blushes. Like, it's pretty, guys, and I didn't even put any highlight. That's, like, the, the lightest powder that I put there. The blushes are really pretty. Like, will I be using this? Yes, but there's definitely dupes out there if you don't want to, like, put some money down on this. But it's not, like, a bad product. It's really nice. To be honest, I didn't feel like I could use most of these shades, but I feel like the lightest one's beautiful as a highlight, like those that skin highlight kind of shade. And these three shades I can use as a blush. I really like it. I probably rate it a good 8 out of 10. Uh, do I regret buying it? No, I'm quite happy I have it, but I'm happy that I got the discount on it at £33. Like, 42 seems a bit much for this palette. I don't know why. I don't mind splurging a bit of money on products, but, but I like it. I'm confused. I'm confused. But yeah, good 8 out of 10. Would I recommend it for our skin colour? Yes. Even for deeper skin tones. But I feel like the lightest, lightest shade will probably apply a little bit ashy. For me, it's like just perfect. And I will be using it, especially for some of the, the blushes. I'm obsessed with blush, so like they're just gorgeous. So yeah, it applied beautifully, it blended really nicely. So I'll give it a pass. I'll give it a pass. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of concept. But let me know if you want to see a part two. And if you do, let me know what products I should try in the comments below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you can join the family. And I will see you in my next video.